welcome to my uh, explanation of uh, sorcery in BC. Uh, and here's the deal. I just want I want you to note that I have 101 skill points. All right, very important stuff right there. Um, my loadout, I go damage. It's recommended that he, uh, sorceries go healer, but I got condemn, transmutation, shard of life, boon of souls, polymorph, and of course fury. Here is here's why. Here's why. All right. Um, I've done multiple loadouts. Um, I've tried every spell and combination in the game when it comes to sorcery. Uh, there's other loadouts that involve clipping. This one, you're not really going to be doing any clipping. Uh, Condemn inflicts bad karma, does a little bit of damage over time. Transmutation is important. It knocks your it knocks your opponent down. I don't know if you can hear the fury laughing as loud as I do. I'm gonna. I'm gonna put him away actually. Uh, oh, what am I doing? Uh, Condemn will also bring your opponent to its knees uh, at times. And I think that has to do with your uh, dominance being higher than their willpower. Uh, but transmutation will knock them and other enemies back. That's a great way to um, give you some some free time. It also does not too good damage, but it's good. Uh, Shard of Life, that one does do good damage. It also gives you a 50% increase to damage for uh, a little while um, until the hit counter resets. Uh, for a little bit more detailed info on this here, let me click on. Ah, oh, damn it, I can't see it from here. Whatever, we'll go into that later. And then, of course, Boon of Souls, which is your shield, and gives you uh, up to three more group members a shield as well. Now the reason I have Polymorph is because it only takes a 25% supercharge cost, which means you'll probably get to use it a lot more than any other supercharge during player versus player. Um, of course, it doesn't change the, the form of your opponents in PvP, but uh, it stops them. It basically grounds them, uh, keeps them on the ground for a short period of time, and potentially stuns them as well. Uh, skill points, you complete feats to get skill points, right? You know, and the thing is, once you... 101 skill points is is, is about halfway there, because I've, I've seen people with 200... I've actually seen someone with 222 skill points. That's the highest I've ever seen. Now, you take these skill points, and you invest them into your skills, you know? Dual pistol skills. Look, here's my tree, everybody. This is important. Um, critical attack damage, right there. So I've got this tree mastered to the point where I want it. There's nothing else I would put any points into here. Maybe when I'm closer to 200, I'll visit and put things into random stuff. But once again, critical attack damage. I see everybody going for this. Uh, what's this? Probably could put more points there, but this one's done. You know, I got dual pistol, dual wheel, and then hand blaster. All where I want them to be. Once again. Oh, this one's going critical attack chance. If I could re if I was to respect, I would not do this one. Forget that, dude. That's such a low percentage, but I guess it does help. I I don't know. Um, and that's the thing, you, you don't really know sometimes. You just gotta go with it. And then I started on uh, martial arts. Yeah, started going down this tree. <clears throat> See that investing in that gave me ten more precision. Now I'm not that great, okay? But with 101 skill points, I'm not that bad. And just to give you an example of what I mean, let's let's do oh, it. Oh yeah. Also, I don't have a full uh, 100 gear. I'm working on that. I'm working on 98 level PvP gear right now. I do have a Omega compound, but since this is just a tutorial about sorcery, I'm just going to show you uh, without that. That that definitely increases things, you know, by five percent. Look at all that. That's that's great. Here's my stats as well. 
I feel like everybody fails to explain skill points, and they also fail to show them in player versus player matches in this way. I see them fight dummies all the time. I've never seen another sorcery loadout like mine. I've certainly never heard anybody discuss skill points. Uh, at least I'm sure that's out there, maybe I just haven't found it, but I feel like everybody keeps this game a secret because they don't want anybody to be as good as them. And I know those people with a lot of skill points. They talk the most trash. So this is my effort to like, you know, bring those people down a notch. You know, come down off your high horse, man. You worked hard for those skill points. You know, don't be such a don't be such a jerk. But I have no idea how this match will go. Oh man, this this is a glitch right here. That is a funny glitch, dude. We're not supposed to spawn in the same bubble like this. Uh oh, I think he's trying to attack me again. And this is the part everybody hates. They don't like the fact that I fly and shoot. I get in a lot of trouble for that, but it's not. It's a, it takes a, a certain level of skill, and it sometimes it's not good. You, you know, you get knocked down a lot, which is why, as you're getting knocked down, you can activate your shield. So that's like the only kind of clipping you'll do with this loadout. Also, there's like. Look at this little trick. You can hide up here and let your fury do the work. Simple stuff. Simple stuff. Now, this skill right here Transmutation. Look how it's it. It's got the best range. Was just that was just poor focus on my part I don't know transmutation can hit from very far away that's what I'm trying to say I'm really doing bad multitasking this guy's gonna be able to beat me out do this in time excellent see he's level 97 all the way I've got a few 98 pieces and I could tell I have a lot more skill points than that guy all right I'm not gonna talk trash okay I beat that guy because I simply have more skill points and a little bit better gear 